Determining how and when the first animals evolved and radiated throughout the global oceans is a fundamental question in paleobiological research. Our study is centred around fossil assemblages from the coastlines of Newfoundland in eastern Canada. At sites such as Mistaken Point Ecological Reserve, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, huge platforms of rock have been exposed by coastal erosion to reveal snapshots of fossilised seafloor communities from 565 million years ago. The fossils come from a time interval known as the Ediacaran period. In Newfoundland, fossils of the Ediacaran biota largely preserve soft-bodied organisms with a leaf-like frond that was usually elevated into the water column by a stem and a circular holdfast disc to anchor the organism to the seafloor. Recent work has suggested that these organisms live together in dense communities on a deep sea floor, and that they may have been very early animals. Our study describes new fossils found on bedding surfaces discovered during the past 10 years. Because these new surfaces preserve incredibly fine levels of morphological detail, they reveal previously undocumented juvenile stages of many taxa, as well as abundant fossils of filamentous, string-like structures. We have found these filaments on 38 different bedding surfaces so far. They occur in remarkably high densities and traverse the surfaces in multiple directions. They can bend and turn back on themselves, suggesting that they are flexible, non-mineralized structures and are typically just a few tenths of a millimetre in width, yet they can reach up to four metres in length. Closer inspection of the filaments reveals that some of them exhibit direct interactions with frondos fossils. They seem to terminate at the holdfast discs of the fronds, or at the midlines of forms that do not have holdfasts. This suggests that they are part of the frondos organisms. To assess the spatial relationships between the filaments and fronds in detail, we had to find fossilised surfaces that were large enough to follow the trajectories of individual filaments over several metres. We cleaned suitable surfaces of rubble and debris, and then took replica silicon moulds of the best specimens to study back in the laboratory, where we could better control the lighting conditions to more easily follow the low-relief fossil impressions. For example, this field photograph of a Fondos fossil shows several filaments converging on its holdfast structure. A replica cast of the same specimen reveals many more filamentous impressions alongside these fossils. Filaments are seen to converge on at least seven different taxa, and one remarkable example reveals two fronds of the same species being physically connected to each other by a filament. We interpret the filaments to be stolon-like outgrowths that formed as part of a clonal reproductive strategy. The filamentous connections appear to have persisted into adulthood, where they may have performed stabilisation, communication or nutritional roles. This finding requires reassessment of every aspect of our knowledge of paleoecology in these early animal communities, revealing that rather than reflecting thousands of isolated individuals, Paleo communities of Ediacaran Fondos taxa comprise connected, integrated populations of clonal and perhaps even colonial organisms. <laughs>